it's a bit overwhelming really um, it's uh, obviously been a long time coming but the most amazing thing of all is I didn't expect to get this uh, when I got the original email I was coming off a golf course and I looked at it and you get so many spam emails and spoofs these days that I took a look at it and I asked my wife to, to have a look at it and I said you're not going to believe this but the University of Aberdeen are offering me an honorary doctorate after all these years I thought I had got my PhD and that was it, you know, I, I was quite happy with that, I was uh, really pleased I've got the PhD because it opened up a whole host of hori new horizons for me at the time, uh, but to get this at the end of my 40 year broadcasting career, it's kind of brought a, a sense of finality about the whole thing and I think, I hope it'll convince uh, everybody that sees this, that I am retiring, I am finishing off. I'm not walking away from everything, but I'm certainly not going to be a professional broadcaster anymore. I'm going to devote myself to doing things I want to do, things I would like to do, and a lot of travel, a lot of golf, but uh, I look back on today with, with great fondness. I'm, I'm really grateful to Aberdeen University for having thought of me at this stage in my life uh, and for having given me this. It's a tremendous honour. It's very different this time, obviously, because the first time I graduated from the University of Aberdeen, it was at Marshall College. I've been at weddings in King's College. I've played Chinty round about the university. So I, I've been attached to the university or connected to the University of Aberdeen for a long time. I played Chinty against the university of Aberdeen when I was in Glasgow in the 70s so we go back a long way but it's a new experience to come to this venue it's a spectacular venue it's very different from the traditional parts of the university uh, but it has its own cachet its own class it's a different venue times change things move on uh, and it's been delightful to be here and what an enormous turnout today I thought it was never ending <laughs> all these graduates coming and coming and coming and it was tremendous to see the international dimension of of all the people involved so a uh, thrilling occasion and uh, you, you can almost hear the Prosecco corks going off uh, it's going to be a big day and possibly even a longer week I think the best advice I can give any graduate uh, today, on the biggest day of their lives so far, is, is to grasp every opportunity that comes. They may very well end up in a completely different sphere of life or different line of inquiry or a different career indeed. I trained as a teacher originally having done a Gaelic degree and then became a broadcaster, a journalist and an academic. So, you know, I would never have dreamt 40, 50 years ago that I'd be standing here accepting an honour like this. But my PhD in, in um, 25 years ago it opened up a whole set of new horizons for me, it took me across the world to lecture in universities and other establishments, and I wouldn't have known it was going to happen. And I almost got into my PhD by accident. My, my supervisor at the time, Professor McInnes, uh, was very persuasive and uh, I always look back now and think if I hadn't taken the opportunity he gave me to come to the university uh, and develop the skills I certainly didn't have when I graduated the first time in the 70s. So I, I, I don't think people should take too many decisions on a day like today. It's not the day for decisions, it's the day for looking ahead and looking at the bigger picture. And somewhere along the line something will come and it's a, a case of being in the right place, being at the, in a position to take the right decision and following your gut instinct. What's good for you won't go by you.